So Baddington, not, you know, too long ago, released his comeback to FNAF VHS tapes, or aka your nightmare fuel. And as you probably know what's notorious about these FNAF VHS tapes, that sometimes the videos break down, things go crazy, you see a figure in the dark, weird text comes up on the screen. And this newest entry by Baddington is not so different. So what I did basically, I watched this video about a million times to see any little secrets, easter eggs, deeper meanings, small little anything. And here is what I found. The first easter egg I found starts with literally the first few seconds of the video, where the two main animatronics get introduced. Both of them are seen rocking a purple vest, which is obviously an homage to FNAF VR's glitch trap, where he was seen also wearing a similar purple vest. The next detail is a bit more obvious. In a part of the video where we see a POV of the suit, before abruptly ending, we see a multiple zoom-ins of this guy in the corner that we can barely make out. And as the community probably knows, this is obviously the criminal, criminal, criminal guy from the countless other tapes. The next detail I've noticed is in the part of the scene where the animatronic is on the floor and basically crawling all over the place. If you listen carefully in the scene, you know, for all the madness of sound that is going on, you'll be able to hear an automated emergency message. Now with the other sounds blending in with the automated message, it was kind of hard to, you know, tell what the message was saying, but this is actually what I decoded from my own recollection. Bro, what the hell is that even supposed to mean? So the message is basically talking about a fire that has appeared in the building, basically. This also corresponds with the fire alarm that is, you know, being played in the background as well. By the way, if you were so far enjoying this video, a sub and a like would be really appreciated. And yeah. The next detail is in the part of the video where we get a shot of the costume mask. And obviously under the table we see the puppet, which we also see later on in the video. But another detail that I've noticed is that there seems to be some form of a red stain around the eyes. What I thought when I saw this is previous springlock failures. This would also correlate with the, you know, high amount of costume heads that we see probably referring to that there's a lot of spring lock failures happening because these costumes are so unstable, you know? Meaning that they would have to get new heads each time because you can literally see the blood from the previous spring lock failures. Next, we move on to this image that is just visible for like, just like one second. And it's a text. And the text is about basically, Fredbear's jaw was designed badly. It was always malfunctioning. So they made an upgrade towards it, installing more motors because his jaw, I guess, was, you know, uh, too heavy. It just, you know, didn't really work out. So they installed more motors, which therefore made the jaw more powerful. Pride of 83 reference. This is kind of an unofficial explanation of how Fredbear was able to just press down on this child's skull. Speaking of Bite of 83, after we get introduced to this nightmare fuel, we get to the part of the video where Fredbear, with his bloody ass mouth looking like he just ate some pizza, slowly rising from the dark, with music in the background that sounds like it was made by Satan himself, this happens. I bit someone displayed over and over and over and over and over until you make it to the end. I bit someone over and over and over again. Obviously, this is another reference to the bite of 83, so yeah. Last but not least is the part of the video that actually, like, probably traumatized me. Let me just show you. Bennington, what the hell's wrong with you? In this monstrous scene, I did notice something after watching it and getting traumatized that there is blood on the floor, even though that we clearly see that this man is getting springlocked in the moment. He gets springlocked after the blood is on the floor. So does that mean that there's multiple stages of a springlock failure? Because where would the blood come from if the springlock the, uh, the spring failure did not happen? It probably means that there's multiple stages of springlock failures. Like the first stage is just like a mild one, you know, scraping on the skin. 
and then the second one is basically the gulag another thing the absolute last detail that i've noticed in the last second as well is this is probably one of the springlock failures that led to the staining of the masks maybe this is the springlock failure that led to the stain of the mask that we see in this scene so maybe that there's like a correlation there you know but that was all the details that i found personally uh yeah that i personally found if you did enjoy this video if you like what you are seeing as i just said like four minutes ago i don't even know subscribe like you know it really helps out you know small creators today they just have zero chance it's almost like they're in the fucking gulag or something but i did hope you enjoyed this video um and yeah roll outro